you love all my cards and stuff. Thank you. This is the one that we're going to make today. I love this. This is my favorite card I've made in a while. I needed a crafty break. I've been working really hard and not doing as much creating as I'd like to do. So this was a really satisfying craft. I'm excited to share it with you today. So we'll be making this card. So let's get started here. I want to talk to you a little bit about celebration. We are in the final days of Stampin' Up! Celebration. It is the most magical time of the year, and I really will be frank with you. This card is designed to show you everything that you might be missing in celebration, because this celebration was phenomenal in my opinion. I really love the um, gifts that Stampin' Up! Or offered this year, and so I decided to put together some of my favorite things from Celebration 2018 and make a card. So this is it. Um, this card features the beautiful Peacock stamp set. You can get this one free with a $50 order. It's a photopolymer set, so it makes it really easy to mix and match all these pieces and line up the peacock. You can do lots of different um, designs with this one. You can have the full fan of tail feathers or this fun little like leafy one or this little vine here. Then the tail pieces also double as great backgrounds when you combine them with these little flowers and stars and dots and things. Beautiful friend and today is all about you are great, useful, um, greetings. You can use them for just a note and for thank yous and for birthdays. It's a very elegant stamp set. And let me show you a couple of little samples I got. These are some beautiful peacock cards that I got in swaps. I love this one combined with the Petal Passion Designer Series paper. And then look at this one combined with the Eastern Beauty Designer Series paper. And here the card maker did the full plume tail and then added the little swirly vines. I love that. This dapper denim and lemon lime twist. Really beautiful card. Um, here's one that's with the Sweet Soiree Designer Series paper. And what a different look, isn't it, from the other two? It's a little bit more, I don't know, cottagey, where this one's a little bit elegant. And this one's a little has a little bit of a modern feel with the black and white designer series paper. So it's really versatile. And here's another one, kind of simply stamped. I love that. My camera doesn't want to focus on it. The words are blurry. But there's a couple of little samples with the beautiful peacock. I feel like I haven't had enough time with this. That's a problem with celebration stuff. We get three months most with it. And I feel like I haven't done enough. <clears throat> I combined my beautiful peacock with the Amazing You stamp set and the Celebrate You thinlets. The Amazing You stamp set, Celebrate You thinlets are um, designed to work together. <clears throat> Pardon me. The Amazing You is free with a $50 Stampin' Up! purchase. And the Celebrate You thinlets is free with a $100. So the level two is new this year. $100 purchase, and you can get these awesome Celebrate You thinlets. We used Amazing from the Celebrate You and You from the Amazing You stamp set to make this great multimedia greeting. And inside the die set, you get Amazing, Celebrate, and You. Great set. All right. Now, the consumable supplies. Eh, let's talk about one more thing here while well, we're going into consumables. I die cut using the Celebrate You Thinlets dies. This amazing greeting from the, let's see what this one's called, Myths and Magic 6x6 Glimmer Paper. This is another item that you can choose for free during celebration. So if you've already gotten these things from the first release of celebration, this is a fantastic item. The Myths and Magic Glimmer Paper includes, I believe, 12 sheets and they're six by six and you get four of each color so we're using that another celebration item uh, let's see other consumables are really simple i'll have a project sheet for this 
um, before the end of the day. This is a Bermuda Bay card base, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Got a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. And then I have a Whisper White, and this is cut with the layering squares die set. I didn't grab that to show you that die set, but I just cut myself a Whisper White square. Um, embellished. Uh, I've got a few of these jewels, basic rhinestones, and let's see here. I think that's about it for my consumable supplies, right? Let's do stampin' pads. We're using the Lemon Lime Twist. Melon Mambo, and then I've got Bermuda Bay and Pool Party, and then we're also going to use the reinkers for the Lemon Lime Twist, Pool Party, and Bermuda Bay. So those are the inks that you'll need for this project. And let's see here. I think I've covered all the supplies. We'll get started with Stampin' in just a second here. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to you about in particular is um, during celebration, one of the best things, and I think it's kind of a little known uh, secret, is Stampin' Up! orders of $250 are the celebration sweet spot. So if you're looking at all this and you're saying, oh, that's a lot of celebration items, but I really love that card. I like the items. Um, I think I'd get use, good use out of them. Let me encourage you to consider taking out your wish list. And if you place multiple orders throughout the year with Stampin' Up! or throughout the quarter, throughout the catalog period, let me encourage you to consider the $250 order. And the reason for that is because at $250, you get... The $250 worth of merchandise that you choose from your wish list, you get five level one celebration choices, and of course you can mix and match those level one celebration choices with level two choices, so you can get three to five celebration items very easily, and you also get $25 in host rewards and a $25 bonus in host rewards. So for $250, you get your $250 worth of merchandise, another $50 in merchandise of your choice, and three to five additional celebration items. So in the last days of celebration here, I'd encourage you to take a look and consider um, really maxing out the benefits of being a customer during celebration with Stampin' Up! All right, so we've talked about celebration. Celebration ends March 31st, so tomorrow. And let me tell you, the website slows down, shipping slows down, the uh, website occasionally crashes. So if you're considering a last minute celebration order, don't wait too much to the last minute, okay? Because you could be sorry. And if you're thinking about joining Stampin' Up!, now is a great time to join Stampin' Up!, you get a $99 starter kit, $125 worth of your choice of merchandise. You get um, two additional stamp sets of your choice during celebration and free shipping. So don't wait till the last minute to join either. If you're thinking about it, jump on and do it now. I'm available the rest of this afternoon. I'm stamping and cooking. I'm hosting Easter. So if you want to talk about uh, Stampin' Up! celebration order and maximizing the benefits or about joining Stampin' Up!, please reach out to me. Um, you can message me through Facebook, private message, um, or give me an email, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. All right, thanks for listening. Um, I'm really excited about Celebration, but sad to see it coming to an end. Um, let's get started here with our stamping. And the first thing we'll work on is this background here that we added to this card. And so we need that four by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White Stamp and Pierce mat. And let me get the, I just knocked you guys over. <laughs> Sorry. Let me get the ink pads here. We're going to use Melon Mambo and Lemon Lime Twist. Oh my goodness. That's one for the bloopers We reel. Did I make you guys a little whoopsie when I tipped you? Oh wow. All right. Now I've got the little vine stamp here and let's see now we're like tipping over for a living here i don't know what's up all right stay still you guys that's enough of this 
<laughs> All right, I've got a little piece of scratch paper to protect my skin and here's Matt because we are going straight off the edges with this. Is everybody on spring break right now? Maybe vacationing? It's been kind of slow around um, Facebook and around the website and stuff. We've only got a couple of viewers right now. All right, so what we want to do is kind of have the flowers radiate from this corner here. So I'm going to start with the placement of one vine and then we'll kind of fan out from there. So I stamped it kind of up and then I'm going to turn my stamp and stamp it down because I want some variation in the way the leaves flow. And then we'll go ahead and tuck this little guy right in here and extend that. Now, after I put this one together, I thought that the top looked a little bare here, so I'm going to go with my vine and just add a little swirl coming off the top. Now, this little dude. Spring break was two weeks ago in Arizona, huh? But everyone is out this week due to Easter. That's for sure. I know that if people are as busy as I am, I get why they're not hanging on Facebook. I'm hosting Easter. Um this year. How about you, Gina? Do you have people over for Easter? All right, so there's our vines. Now, I took the three little flower images. I love that it's got kind of a big, medium, and small, all of the same flower, and I just mounted them on one block in a triangle shape, and then we're going to go through here, and oh, you know what? I missed a little piece of vine. I want this one to flow all the way off the page, so let me get a little guy here. Okay, that's how I want that. Um, ink up in Melon Mambo, and I'm going to add flowers on my vines. And I'm going to turn the stamp a little bit as I go so we get some variation in which flowers are down. I'm going to your sister-in-law's, but doing a lot of food prep and planning with her. Yeah, see? Even when we don't host, sometimes it just busy, busy. That's what it is. Well, I was so glad to carve out a little time for stamping today. I've been missing the creative part and all the administration. Been doing a lot of tutorials and stuff like that, but not a whole lot of stamping lately. Okay, I'm just filling in with the little flowers here and there. I want them to kind of look like they're sprayed across the but also attached to the vines you know what I mean I don't want them to just float in space okay I think I'm pretty happy with that let me just dry fit my little square and see if there's any spots that really need no I feel good about that all right how many people am I having oh gosh it's gonna be kind of small this year. Um, let's see here. Mom and dad and my family is seven. And then my sister, her husband and four boys. So that's what, 13. And then my brother and his wife and two kids. So that's 17. And my aunt, that's 18. And my brother and his wife and little girl, that's 21. And then possibly my cousin and his family. And they are four and two. There are six more. So maybe 27. So not too big for my, <laughs> that's, not, that's not too big for us. I'm a really from a really big family. My mom has um, eight brothers and sisters and um, we all live in the same town. So when you start getting the extended, then it gets really crazy. All right, so I like my background here. I'm going to grab my pool party ink pad. And there's a little dot pattern that comes in the beautiful peacock here. And we're going to add some little pool party dots to our background. Bring that blue shade, those blue tones from the back out through. So this one is... Um, my advice for you with this one is to use a very, very light touch because the ink fills all these little spaces between the dots. They're tiny and they're so far spread out that it's very easy to grab the ink 
from in between the spots. And so a really light touch, kind of up and down. Otherwise, you're going to catch the, the halo around the dots. And see how pretty that is when you start bringing the blue into it? It just really livens up as opposed to this place where there is no blue. Those little dots just make all the difference in the world. It's about the details. It really is. Isn't this a beautiful background? It really gets you thinking outside the box of the peacock, too. There's so much more to this set. It's very easy to say, eh, peacocks, hmm. You know, but there's there's a lot to be done with this. The greetings are great. And the um, backgrounds that you can build with this stamp set are just, it's just a phenomenal stamp set. So there's our little background. I think I need a, another dot or two kind of up in the corner there. All right, so there's our little background all built. Love it. All right, now I'm going to just making less pieces here. I'm going to go ahead and okay, so I have a special offer for the last two days of celebration. Any orders of $50 or more placed with me before the end of celebration. So March 31st, you will receive one of these cards from me in the mail. Just a little something but I'm very thankful for your orders. If you'll consider ordering from me, I'm going to send you one of these amazing you cards. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, and if you place any orders in the next uh, day and a half or so, the end of celebration, I'll send you a card. All right, now let's move this aside. We've just mounted that centered on our Bermuda Bay card. And now we've got our square. Here's where things are going to get really fun. <laughs> Let me... Move the ink pads out of the way. And you see this crazy mess right here? I got a paper plate. And on my paper plate is a baby wipe. And we're going to make our own little multicolor ink pad so that we can get this fun multicolor effect on the peacock's tail. <laughs> Gina, I'm probably just making you ill with all this tipping, and I do know, not know what's causing it. So. Let's rearrange things just a little bit, hopefully for the last time. There. All right. Hey, it looks like Rhonda's watching. Hey, Rhonda. Okay, so here's my little baby wipe. And on the baby wipe, I'm going to take some lemon lime twist ink. I want to make sure that it's nice and juicy. And I'm just putting a little line, lemon lime twist. <laughs> Oh, Gina says she's good and I'm cute. Thank you. I don't know how many people would think that that was cute. I'm trying to be professional up in here. <laughs> hey, Rhonda. Did you get that catalog I finally sent you? I sent it priority mail. So if you don't have it, you will have it very soon, I promise. All right, so that was Bermuda Bay. And then pool party in the center and lemon lime twist on the top. And I just put them into a fresh, clean baby wipe. Now I'm going to put this aside, grab my peacock feathers, so I've got that big full fan tail, and I'm going to use my baby wipe like an ink pad. So we've made our own custom rainbow ink pad, and you kind of want to move along the different colors so that they blend a little bit and you don't have harsh lines. Oh good, I'm so glad it made it. I'm sorry it took me so long. I've just been crazy busy. That's all there is to it. but. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you before celebration is over. So there's our little watercolor, multicolor peacock tail. Now let's get the melon mambo. And before we clear away this little rainbow pad that we've made, I'm going to stamp one more time. So let's do the body of our peacock. I'm going with a high contrast. We're going to do melon mambo. And... I love the clear photopolymer. You can really line it up, but it's hard to get above it while I'm on camera. So let's hope for the best there. Hopefully that's lined up right inside the feathers. Ah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, then I'm going to go over here and where the Bermuda Bay and the pool party come together, I'm going to ink my little U stamp. Put that in the bottom right corner. And it's got 
a little bit of that ombre effect. It's a little lighter at the top, darker at the bottom. Now, when you do something like this, you can, like I did, wrap it up airtight. And you could probably use it again um, for a little while. You don't, it'll mold if you keep it too long. It'll, um, uh, it, it's not a, it's not a forever ink pad, but I'm going to make more of these cards because I just offered anybody who orders from me at the end of celebration here, one of these cards. So I'm going to make a few more. So I'm just going to take one of these little clear cello bags that my rhinestones came in. I'll pop that in there and then put it aside. It'll keep it not quite airtight, but it's covered and I can reuse this a few times before I have to toss it out. Okay. So there's our little peacock. Now let's clear away the ink pads in the stamp and pierce mat because we're going to do a quick bit of die cutting. All right, so let's get the big shot in here. And I've got my big shot set up for die cutting. So I've got my platform, my thin die adapter, and then I've got a cutting pad. And we're going to cut this um, beautiful pear pizzazz lemon lime twist. I'm not sure what color that is. I think it kind of goes in either way. Because of the glitter, it's definitely a good combination with lemon lime twist. But we're going to cut this glimmer paper with that amazing die from our Celebrate Youth Inlets. These are free with your $100 purchase during celebration. I'm just gonna line that right up there. And wait till you see how these dies cut this glitter paper like butter. Okay, try not to wiggle too much. I don't wanna tip you guys over again. <laughs> oh boy, live video. All right, so I'll just pick this up and look at that die is very detailed. The glimmer paper is very um, thick. It's just amazing quality paper, but this fine little die cuts through it without any problem. Look at how gorgeous that is. All right, let me pop these centers out. Move this aside. We're done die cutting. Do you guys have this um, Myths and Magic Glimmer paper? I don't know if anybody's got that with the Bermuda Bay and the Lemon Lime Twist and then the Diamond Glitter. I love it. This is what's left of my, I think, second package. Maybe, yeah, this is probably my second package. I love this stuff. All right. I need my tool bucket. Let me get paper piercer. Just got to pop out these centers and the G's and the A's. Of course, I'm having a little trouble with them. That's because I said it cut like butter. Rhonda says that's so gorgeous. Thank you, isn't it? It's just so fine and detailed, but the glimmer paper really cuts nicely and brings, brings the greeting a lot to life. So there's our amazing you. Pretty cool, huh? I love how the stamp set and the die set work together. Stamping up is, is crafty like that. All right. So now we just have a little assembly and embellishment left to go. Um, I need multi-purpose liquid glue and some dimensionals for this. I had some mini ones and they were hanging around here, but I can't find them right now. You should see the mess that I made. I started completely clean surface today because we had some people over last night and I've still managed to make a huge mess. All right, so our amazing you, we're going to um, adhere amazing with some multi-purpose liquid glue. And then Hey, Renda, not to put you on the spot on Facebook or anything, but did you see I sent you um, information about joining Stampin' Up? I know you're just kind of getting back into um, crafting in general as an idea. I know you've been busy, but think about it. If you've got any questions and you want to talk to me, just reach out, okay? I'd love for you to join the kitchenettes. All right, so there's amazing. Now, once I've got my little word in place, I'm going to take some time right here because this is so delicate. I'm going to lift the tail of the G and add a very small drip of the multi-purpose liquid glue there. And then I'm going to lift this 
little loopy tail too and get a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on there. You want to secure it down because we're even going to bump it up a little bit with some foam tape. And so we want it to be secure on the peacock panel. And there it is. How gorgeous that is. All right, now some dimensionals. I'm going to put like five on the back of the square, one in each corner and one in the center. And then I'm going to take my edges here of the minis and just shred a few little pieces really thin. See that I just kind of fringed it. And we're going to use these little bits to support what hangs over on the greeting. You see? Just a tiny little bit. This is a bit fiddly, but I think it's so worth it when you see the finished product and the greeting is so fine and sparkly. Um, helps if you remove the release paper and make it sticky though. All right. Now on the A of Amazing, I'm gonna cut one of these in half because we don't need quite as long a piece. There. Now all our little bits are supported. I gotta re pull all the release paper. What did you guys think of celebration this year? Did you get a chance to look at all the um, items in the celebration offering? I was pretty excited about it overall. Really great things. I'm sad to see it end. All right, so my adhesive is sticky. We're gonna go ahead and adhere our peacock panel. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Gina, great. Lots of choices in celebration this year. I agree. I think there's something for everyone. And there is our Amazing You card with featuring all of these great celebration products. Um, Amazing You, which coordinates with the Celebrate You Thinlets. These are available. You can get both of these for free with a $150 purchase. $150 purchase also means that you choose an additional $15 in products for host rewards. Hi, B. It's good to see you. Don't worry. You, you can catch it on the replay. And then Beautiful Peacock is a free stamp set available to you as Stampin' Up's gift with a $50 purchase. We're in the final days of celebration, B. Is there anything stamping up that you need? Might as well pick it up while you've got the option for all these gift with purchases. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is, if you notice here, the, gl the Glimmer paper, that's also available as a freebie with a $50 order. We're the Glimmer paper's not enough. We're going to add a little bit of rhinestone bling. So I've got my Jewels Basic Rhinestones here, and I'm going to go with this little smallest one and just put some gems right there in the center of these little circles in the tail. I just love this stamp set. Not enough time during celebration. I think it goes so quickly. I'm using the smallest little rhinestone. All right, we've almost got enough bling here. One more. And we are all done. All right, there it is. If you place any order with me between now and the end of celebration, that's the end of the day, March 31st, I will send you one of these cards as my thank you gift. Rhonda says, that's so pretty. Well, off to continue moving my sister. Oh, Rhonda, that's hard work. I hope it goes quick and easy for you. Thanks for stopping in. If, you, if there's anything stamping up I can do for you, reach out. Enjoy those catalogs. All right, you guys. I have got Easter here. So I'm going to go get cooking and cleaning. And, well, maybe I'll try to squeeze in just a little bit more stamping before I get to that. If you've got any questions, if you need anything in these last few days of celebration, reach out. Private message me or email me.
Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Gina says, are you going to on stage? I am in Milwaukee. I cannot wait. The new catalog is so exciting. I cannot wait to get that in my hot, in my hot little hands. Or it's, uh, I have, um, but five kitchenettes that are going to on stage too. So that'll be really cool. Yeah, we're we're going. When I get back, be on the lookout for some sneak peeks. Um, that's exactly it. It's the Facebook Live next Friday. Um, I'm still debating on the Facebook Live next Friday. If I do it from... Um, from home before I leave because I'm driving. It's Milwaukee and it's going to be a quick turnaround for me. So I might be Facebook Live on Friday. I'll let you know as it gets a little bit closer. It's possible that I won't be there. But it's possible that I'll pull something off too because um, it's only about a 90 minute drive for me. All right. Okay, you guys. I'm off to go take care of some stuff and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping in and spending some time with me. Thanks for the thumbs up too. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Happy Easter, everybody.